this is simply an exposure. Delightfully ordinary, perhaps. Stunningly simple. And magnificently ungraspable. Simply, this is about nothing being everything. There is no real progression with what is being shared or interpreted. There's no meaning or purpose applied or attached or ascribed to this, this sharing, but also this, what is, is meaningless, purposeless, directionless, and even dimensionless. This simply is about boundlessness, which is not a thing. It's nothing at all. And yet it's all there is. And because it's undefinable, everything that's being said is not true. It's not false either. There's this words. It's just an uttering out of an absence and is absence. And the simplicity of that and the abundance of it is just simply pointed out the exposure is simply pointing out that this is already what it is, complete, free, free of need, free of intention, free of meaning, free of value, and yet by being boundless can appear as assertions and claims that this has to be something, it has to be a certain way, it needs this, it needs that, but really it doesn't need anything. There is no it to be needing something else. The exposure of the abundance of this which is beyond direction, but also beyond duality, therefore beyond progression, beyond journey and destination, beyond parts that need to connect and link up or merge or bind or unite. There's no division already. There's no separation. So nothing needs to change or shift or move. This is already complete, fulfilled, whole. So it's, an empty, full wholeness that does not contain anything and does not leave behind anything. It's all it's all inclusive, and yet there's uh, nothing to be included. There's no exclusion. There's no real inclusion. There just is totally, immediately what is. And it's spontaneous really this this is spontaneity there's there's no before or after so what is is timeless and totally spontaneous nothing is coming to a moment or moving from a moment there's no real movement in that sense but there's no real stillness or stagnation either so there's a lot of no's seeming to happen <laughs> so there's this just undefinableness inexpressible ineffable incomprehensible thisness it can't it just there just simply cannot be a naming of what is and is not and yet words seem to happen and the separation experience can also seem to happen the experience of being here can appear for a body and out of that sense comes claims that i am and that i'm here and that i have a body, I own it, I have other relationships and I have these thoughts and sensations and perhaps a story grows around this illusory here sense and claims that it's a, it's a certain kind of person, I, I'm a this kind of person or a that kind of person, gender, sex, race, religion, any kind of walk of life, any labels or definitions, any identities to hold on to. The holding on to is the dream experience of identity and individuality, and there is really neither. And also with that comes a sense that someone is doing what's happening, that there's a someone who's in charge, who can control the body, who can control the brain, the nervous system, and control the... Uh, the situations and the circumstances of life. And this is all re revealed as totally illusory, not real at all. There's no control whatsoever. Body is already doing its thing, already going to the shops and going to work or staying at home. 
it's already doing what it's doing. There's no doership though. So it's not even really doing, it's being human being. There is just beingness. But the illusory sense of awareness would seem to, in a way, distort or misinterpret that there's a doer, that there's someone in control. Someone's doing what's happening. Someone's watching what's happening and somewhat influencing what's happening. And that is not real. There's no influencing really going on. There's no separation for there to be influencing. So what is, is timelessly complete already. And that exposure can apparently make that clear, not just conceptually, but energetically. But the apparent clarity, whether that was apparently conceptual or energetic, is is not real, of course. But body can just seem to relax around that, and there can seem to be a loosening up and a wobbling, a shaking of a sense of me and a fading of that. It's, of course a total illusion for anything that's not really happening to fade away. But this can just seem to be made clear for no one. It's not made clear objectively, obviously. It's the it's the whole sort of cracking of this dream of someone trying to get anywhere or anything from this or anywhere else. So the compassion exposes that there is no one really to die or be born or carry on living, there's no one full stop. So no labels at all? Apparently labels appear, but there's th this cannot really be defined, no. But 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 not only this, it it's everything. So um, this is everything, yeah. Which is yeah. So labeling people with diseases or whatever, it's it's all a story. Yeah, it would seem story based, but that's not necessarily illusory. But, I mean, there's no there's no reality in the sense of anyone knowing what this is and therefore knowing what other conditions other people have, you know. But there's no real stepping outside of what is to define it. So definition kind of requires separation in that way. It requires someone to know what this is or what that person is, or and therefore we can define that person or this. You know, there's no real separation. There's no real definitions. No one really knows what this is or what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But definitions and, you know, diagnosis or whatever it is, whatever other example you could throw out is, uh, it's just this, mostly. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Hello, Alexis. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say I enjoyed uh, the meeting yesterday very much. I mm -hmm. thought it was so great. And what I also really enjoyed is when you said No, uh, everybody wants to be humble, but nobody wants to pay the price. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And I thought I was just, it, it hit me. It was just so amazing. I have to confess something. The second verse of those <laughs> words <laughs> is boring. Well, is borrowed from a band, but there we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was incredible. It just sat really yeah. greatly for me anyway. So thank you for that. Mm. Yeah. There's these delightful 
delightful lyrics from Faith No More Epic, where they say, you want it all, but you can't have it. It's in your face, but you can't grab it. Hi, Alexis. Hello. Uh, I'm sitting here, and uh, there's only one thing in my head. Um, um, you're wasting your time. You, sh you should ask some questions. But that's the only thing in my head. I, I, I don't have any question come up. No. Yeah. Because if you had a question, maybe maybe then we could be moving somewhere or moving, I know, going yeah, in a direction yeah. or something. Mm, yeah, it's just nothing came out. And, um, yeah, yesterday, I mean, like a Thursday Zoom meeting is the only time suitable for me. Um, but yesterday I, I was in um, Andrea's Zoom meeting. Mm. And um, that's the good time for me. Mm. And um, I asked him, because he, he said, uh, there's no knower, there's no knowing, there's a, no experiencing, no experiencer. And uh, I was like, uh, oh, if there's no knower, no experiencer, there's uh, no knowing, no experiencing, what's the difference between no knower and being dumb? And <laughs> I couldn't remember what he said, but uh, basically like uh, someone said that's the um, visceral resistant of the body. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, w what do you think about that? Do you have anything well, to say Well, there, about there is no knowing already. You know, even a claim that someone knows something is not real. There's no real position to be knowing what's going on. There's no real position that's located in the body, distant from everything that it's objectifyingly knowing about, and therefore knowing about it. There's no real distance. It's a dream. So there is no real knowing. It, it is a dream. Knowing requires distance between two things for one to know the other. There isn't any separation for that to be a reality at all. And so intelligence and stupidity are just appearances. Mm. But there is no knowing. There's no knowing whether I'm dumb or whether I'm clever. <laughs> there just is apparent cleverness or dumbness. I mean, even those are even those are labels. But the 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 way knowing is talked about in this meeting is is that there's a position that's knowing something, subject, object, distant stream. And that, that kind of knowing is totally illusory. Yeah. But 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 you know, in a way, body would seem to know how to brush its teeth, for example. But it's not really knowing, it just is what's happening. Body would seem to know how to digest food, how to you know, regenerate the cells every seven years or whatever it is. It, it seems to know, but it's not really because there's no one in there doing it. Mm. So what about knowing and being? What what different are these two? So the, these are all words, of course, and they and you know, every <laughs> there may be different definitions and all explanations, but being in the way it's talked from this is is everything beingness mm. just being whatever is happening is just being what it is mm. but being is not something anyone does no one does being there just is beingness no no yeah Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask, Lee, where do you live? Where are you from? Australia. 
Australia. Oh, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes. I wish you guys can come over here. <laughs> Would be lovely. Next year, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm excited about it. Hopefully, you can make it. A dog is a dog. Even the dog is classified and named. And named a pig, it will sometimes bark as a dog. Language seems to be unable to be able to describe. Why don't use consciousness, not self-consciousness, but consciousness without the, or a, yeah. So the way, you know, I really don't give a shit to be honest, for definitions and labels. It doesn't mean anything. It's not leading anyone anywhere. So whether you call this consciousness or beingness makes really no difference at all. The only reason why consciousness isn't apparently used in meetings is because as far as the Oxford Dictionary is concerned, consciousness means knowing. When it comes to spiritual circles, consciousness is talked about in this grandiose way as though it's sort of this you know, ultimate spiritual force that drives the whole universe. And that is completely shunned in meeting because it, it, there's no sense that anyone, anyone or anything is driving anyone or anything. There just is no sense that anything is, is driven, that there's some sort of underlay that's underpinning what's going on and moving it in a direction. So the very simple definition of consciousness means knowing, which requires a subject to know an object. And that only seems to appear out of the dream of separation, the illusory individual fantasy of knowing what this is and being aware of it. And in that dream, there will be a very firm clinging on to the words that I think I know what this is. The words and the definitions, the, the apparent conditioning of whatever tradition or religion or practice an apparent individual has been paired up with for years. They want to stick with these words and these terms, you know, they're mine, they belong to me, they mean something to me. Why can't we use this word? Why do you call it that word? It loves getting stuck in this sort of dichotomy of trying to figure this all out. And yet not really in there doing that in the first place. It seems to me that the strongest programming uh, for me is that I have a body. You know, this sense that I have a body. Like, it's the, it's the strongest. The sense is just too strong. Mm. Like a few months ago when I was seemingly dying, there were no worries others than this body didn't want to die. Mm. Like, yeah, I suppose it's natural, you know, for the cells and the body to to carry on somehow. It just... Mm. But the sense that there is somebody who doesn't want the body to die was so strong in that yeah. moment. Visceral, isn't it? It's a visceral quality. Yeah. Mm. Felt sense that someone has a body. Yeah. 
and that is paradoxically despite feeling so solid and real substantial is not in any way it's not substantial it's not real it doesn't make it more or less anything it doesn't make it better or worse it just is exposed to that sense of i that has a body is not real <laughs>